Hi, my name is Sean Freeman. I'm a client site engineer for Goodellnet Consulting Services. Goodellnet is a managed service provider, which means we provide a wide range of IT services to other companies that don't have their own IT staff as part of their business. As a client site engineer, I'm assigned to a specific client to be on site and respond to any needs that may come up. Things like working with other specialized teams from my company to ensure the client's applications, their servers, and their networks continue to operate without any issues. Or I could work on physical hardware such as their laptops or even their iPhones and their iPads. Um, after high school, I originally wanted to pursue a career in graphic arts, uh, the ultimate goal of being a comic book artist. But in order to raise money for art school, I decided I needed a backup skill. So I decided to join the U.S. Navy as soon as I graduated, and I focused on learning information technology. While I was in the Navy, I found out how much I enjoyed working in IT, and I actually made the decision to continue, continue focusing on IT as a career. Since I started my career path over 23 years ago, I've spent almost the entire time overseas. Ten years of that was in the U.S. Navy holding positions from performing uh, regular desktop support to actually becoming the network and systems administrator for all naval forces in an entire country to ending my experience, um, you know, ending my service as an instructor, teaching other network and systems administrators. After the Navy, I moved into the private sector uh, providing IT support for global companies in finance um, before I eventually moved back to the United States a few years ago and landed a job with Goodellnet. Most of my training has been what you would call on the job because I was basically learning as I went. Um, I had a few schools provided by the military that would give me an additional foundation to build my knowledge and my skills on. Um, until recently, I didn't really pursue a college education or IT certifications. I mostly relied on my experience and my professional network that I had built um, to advance my career uh, all the way up to the point to where I wasn't just providing IT support. I was actually managing IT support teams um, for previous companies. And, you know, it can be a bit scary uh, make, making a decision to fully commit to a specific career. But I think as long as you focus on working in a field that you're passionate about, it's easy to find the drive to keep going. Um, I've had points in my career where I spent such a long time building myself up. Um, and then I made the decision to move on and almost start over in a sense. Um, it wasn't an easy thing to do, especially, um, you know, I did have challenges right after. Um, for example, when I left the U.S. Navy, I went to go work in finance and the 2008 uh, recession hit. And it was a scary time for a lot of people not knowing if we're gonna keep a job, let alone find a new one. But uh, one thing that I love about my career in IT is that everybody needs IT. So everybody, every business needs to rely on IT in some fashion. There's always something new to learn. Um, it's, it's continuously learning new things, expanding your knowledge, and it never gets boring. Um, whenever I need to perform job searches, I relied on a lot of different tools to find, to find the right company. I had built and maintained a LinkedIn profile, for example, um, a long time ago, and I use it very heavily to, to perform any job searches. Um, I didn't only rely on LinkedIn. I used every different job hunting service that I could find, um, including like my local job resource center. Um, I went to job fairs. If I was searching for work while unemployed, I spent the entire day basically um, looking and applying for jobs and tracking my communication with companies that I applied for. I even took temporary work whenever possible so I could keep looking for the right job. You know, I, at 39 years old, I was uh, slinging boxes for UPS for nine months before I actually found my current job, and it was totally worth it. Um, if I had to provide some key advice based on what I've learned so far, try as hard as you can to focus on a career that you're passionate about, but be open to other opportunities because you might find a career along the way that surprises you. Um, education. 
uh, trade schools, certifications. I really do regret not focusing on at least obtaining certifications in my field early on. Um, I had no problems doing the work. I had a great reputation um, and I had a job experience to back up my resume. But when I moved back to the United States, I didn't have that job network or that professional network available to me. And I had to rely solely on my experience. And not having those certifications really did make it difficult to progress interviews in a lot of cases. Um, if you decide on a career that you want to try but you aren't sure if you can really afford to spend a ton of money on education look for any opportunities you can um, things like apprenticeships um, i'm actually with my current company through an apprenticeship so you re actually really be surprised on the free resources available to anybody that's willing to put in the work so good luck thank you